I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my head I'm sick of wishing I could just forgive and forget I'm sick of all these thoughts that are stuck in my mind, my mind, my mind Hi everyone, welcome back again to my channel. If this is the first time that you're joining, welcome to the family. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about schools that you do not have to pay application fee. Okay, so I know that there are a lot of you guys that want to apply for the CSS scholarship and the one fear that you guys are running away from is application fee. That's time for me, I really understand this. If you ask me, applying to schools that you have to pay for application fee and applying to like schools that you do not have to pay application fee, which one would I go for? I would always go for the ones that you have to pay application fee to be honest and get me get me okay just understand why because i feel like those schools that you do not pay application fee a lot of students are applying to those schools so why i always prefer schools that i'll have to pay application fees because i know that even though yes there's a competition there it's not a lot of people that would want to go for those schools how many people would want to pay application fee please but if you feel like i don't have the money or my you cannot tell me to apply to this school it's fine that's one of the reasons i'm doing this video because i cannot just do the videos that i feel what i prefer right i have to do videos that i'm like helping you guys so that's why i'm doing this video but if you ask me i will always say go for schools that you pay application fee do not be scared or shy away from application fee you know and then you don't even have to be so concerned about the scholarship opportunities sometimes you know Sometimes you don't have to be too concerned about the opportunities. I'm talking about type B. You can apply for all the scholarships. Um, you cannot be focused on CSC type B and then you do not get it. And then you are so discouraged and you are just feeling so bad. Somebody reached out to me, sent me uh, a message. Uh, the person sent me a message and the person was telling me of how he applied for the CS scholarship type B and then he didn't get it. And I read his application, as I read his study plan. And for me, I felt like this is really, really good. Like what I was seeing was so good to me. So, But I can also understand the aspect of the fact that I don't know what these people want. There was someone who actually applied for the scholarship and then the person had the first class and another person who got a two one got the scholarship and the person with first class did not get it. So I've told you guys of that situation. So that's the story I like to tell some people who are so discouraged to actually apply for the scholarship. I love to tell them that story because I don't know why you are so discouraged. The, the worst that can actually happen is a no. Or a rejection and if you are someone that you've not been getting rejection i can understand why you we are so scared because if it's people like us that we have tried so many things in our lifetime like i'm telling you like i feel like i have tried so many things and i have gotten so many rejections that at this point I am not scared of getting rejections. Yes, I am not scared of that. Getting rejection is not something I prefer anyone. Let me just tell you. Because if you keep getting rejection, there's a point you come to in your life that you will just be discouraged to anything, to apply for anything. And it can happen. But at the end of the day, prepare your heart for anything. Apply, yes. Apply. That's what I say. Apply. But do not be like, oh, if I get the end of the world. No, do not think like that. Okay? So that's like my motivation for you. There are so many people have been rejected. I told you guys that I had applied for so many other scholarships. PTDF, um, Commonwealth. There are so many other scholarships I applied. It's this one that I even got. It was the least on my mind. That is the truth. The bilateral scholarship was the least on my mind. I never thought that it was anything. I didn't even know how much you're going to pay us. I didn't have all those information. So that's why a lot of people get encouraged um, through my story. And that's why I'm even here on this platform and I talk about my story. Because 
I remember then, I remember then I had been applying, I felt discouraged. I, I really thought that this thing does not work. But I am here. I am currently here in China. And I'm the one telling you that do not be, get discouraged. Yes, do not get discouraged. It works. There are some people that get, there are some people that don't get. If you don't get, it's not the end of the world. If you are rejected, you're not the first person to be rejected in this life. So do not kill yourself. This is me encouraging you guys and motivating you guys so that you would keep applying, okay? It's not just CSC. There are other ones. So do not just be so focused on it has to be CSC. If it's not CSC, not seen again. See, there are even better ones than CSC. Yes, there are better scholarships than CSC. Some of you don't even have your documents. And I'm just wondering to myself, am I wasting my time? Am I wasting my time on this platform? Because I don't want to waste my time, okay? So if you don't have your document, don't message me. Don't message me. <laughs> so yeah, let me start with number one school. Sean Thing University. Okay, for the Shunting University, they actually require like a processing fee. What a processing fee is, is that sometimes they might not really, it's not like an application fee, right? It's a processing fee. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. There's this school that I wanted to even apply to. I remember there was this school I wanted to apply to. And then they told me um, it was free application fee. But then you have to pay for like the processing fee, right? There are some schools they will tell you that oh, the application is free, but you have to pay for like the processing fee. So I'm thinking that this Shanti University is also like that. And then you have the Capital Normal University. The Capital Normal University application free. And uh, we have the Dalian University of Technology, which is Liaoning State, China. Okay. And then we have the Shanxi State in Shanxi State, China. And then we have Southeast University, Nanjing. And then we have University of Electronic Science and Technology, China. And then we have the Sichuan University, China. And then we have the Shanghai Tiantun University. So this university's application is free, okay? And we have the Wuhan University of Technology, City Wuhan, um, Hebei State, China, okay? And then we have the Shandong University, State, um, Shandong, China. And then we have the Nanping City Province, Tianxu. And then we have the Tianjin University, and we have the Fujian University. And we have the Southwest University. And we have the Shunting University of Post and Telecommunication, China. And then we have the Wuhan University, um, Hebei um, State, Wuhan City, China. And then we have the Hanbin Engineering University. And then we have the Hanbin University of Science and Technology. And then we have the Gentian Science Tech um, University. And we have the Yanshan University. And then we have the Nantin Agriculture and um, Tianxu State City, um, Nantin. And then we have the Huanzhou Agri, um, no application um, processing fee. And then we have the Northwest um, Agri. Um, it also has no application processing fee. And we have the Shando University, no application processing fee. And then we have the Renmin University of China, the Northeast um, Normal University. And then we have the Northwest A&F University. And we have the Shanxi Normal University. So guys, these are the universities that you can actually check and see if you would have it's you don't need to pay application fee for this university that's it but you know like 2023 is a different year right and some of these schools might have changed um some of their requirements so every year there are some schools that will still change their requirements so even though yes i have listed these universities for you guys that you don't need to pay application fee sometimes they still like change their requirements okay so you still need to like check 
okay but i i'm telling you these schools you don't need to pay application fee you can actually apply to these schools if you're like scared of um schools i'm gonna call it application fee from you you can apply to these schools and you get the admission and you get the scholarship okay so guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel i will see you guys in my next video bye for now